Hey friends, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today I will discuss that how you should convince people in your business. The first thing is you should be curious. If you want to listen or if you want to attract your customer, your supplier, then you should be curious that exactly what is required from their side. Secondly, you should listen effectively. If you're listening to your supplier or if you're listening to your customer, don't interrupt in between. Listen actively and effectively what exactly is required from their side. Third, be honest. Whatever services you are giving or whatever services you are providing, you should be honest in that. You should not make any false statement or oral statements which you cannot cover or cannot complete. Next, be confident. You should always be confident whatever you are saying. If you want to do any promise to your customer or supplier, then you should be confident that you are going to fulfill that promise. Next, tell a story. If you want to attract a customer, you should always tell them a story. That Of course, that story should not be false, but that story should tell your past history, your strategies, or the work which you have completed. Next is address concern. If your customer is facing any difficulty, you should not make a false statement that let's see, let's discuss afterwards. I will complete, but I don't know the deadline or the timeline. No, you should address his concern and you should give him a deadline that this work will be completed in timely manner. Next, make your voice more effective. If you're confident whatever you are saying or if you're confident the promises you have made which will be fulfilled then your voice should be effective and your voice should tell that yes you are correct and you are confident number eight show empathy of course you should show empathy to your customer and to your supplier or your any party by which you will be dealing with next find familiar ground of course, if you're making any sale, then your customer should find it familiar to deal with you. Even your supplier should find it familiar to deal with you. You should always find a familiar ground. Number 10, give people a reason to listen to you. Yes, you should give people a reason to listen to you. Your voice should be more effective. Your voice should be confident. Your promises should be such that People should find a reason to listen to you always. Number 11. Show people that you truly care about them and their needs. Yes, if their problems will be addressed or if you are concerned about them, then they will have a confidence that you are truly care about them and even you truly care about their needs. Number 12, give people a reason to trust you. Yes, you should always and always be in that position that people should find a reason to trust you. Even if you commit any mistake while making a deal, people should tell each other that no. By looking at the past history, we are confident that he will be trustful. Number 13, define the action steps and clarity the process. If you address the concern about your customer, then you should tell him the action step and also the process clearly. You should tell him that how you will deal with the problems and how the customer will be benefited with your services. Number 14, sell the dream. You should always find the reason that you're selling your dream. It should not be a burden. The sale should not be the burden to you. The business should not be a burden on you. You should always and always live in that picture that you are selling your dream and hence, of course, you will give the best out of it. Number 15, the recruiting part is important. It's not like always you will deal with your customer or supplier. It will be your employees, your assistants, your executive who will first deal with them and after that you will have a word or meeting with them. So. The recruiting part is also important. The persons on which you are dependent should be trustful, should be confident, and should be effective. Number 16, flaunt the culture of your company. The culture of your company should be so friendly and so corporate that 
the person dealing with you should find a reason that they will make the deal again and again with you. Number 17, tell them it's a good opportunity to make money. If you are dealing with any supplier, then you should tell them that you will get a recurring order from you or from us. The supplier should find a reason that yes, by dealing with this person, I'm getting a lot of opportunities. Even if you're dealing with your customer, the customer should find ways that how you are benefited by purchasing your product. Number 18, make your the big team. Yes, of course, it's not a one man army show. The person who handles everything in his business, he loses the business development. So you should have a big team and trustworthy team. Number 19, make yourself rare. Of course, you, your personality and your products should always be rare. Number 21, don't use fillers. Of course, fillers should not be used in business because this creates bad impression. Use the language they use. If you are dealing with a customer who is from village area and if you are explaining him about your product in technical language, then he will not be tend to purchase your product. He will find a reason to purchase the product from that supplier who is friendly in nature and who will explain him better. So always use the language they use or they understand. Number 22. Show yourself as a confident person. Of course, as your voice speaks, even your body language should speak that you are a confident person. Number 23, know the right time. You should always know that what will be the right time to deal with. If you are dealing with a person who is not ready to purchase or who is not ready to supply the material on credit, then you should wait patiently and should know that what will be the right time to make him convince. Number 22, show them it's a chance to do something meaningful. Yes, of course, they should understand that it's a meaningful deal and it's not a fake deal. Your body language, your way of talking, your voice should be so confident and show, so effective that they should find it meaningful to deal with you. Number 25, try to speak of the future. You should always speak about the present as well as future. They should understand that you are a totally business oriented person who always think about the benefits and about the future. Last, speak about how they can contribute. Always you should tell them that your contribution is very important. You should tell your supplier that because of you, I'm expanding my business. You should tell your customer because of you, I'm getting new deals and you are the most important part of my business. So they will be happy. In this way, you will convince your customers as well as suppliers. I hope this video is useful and effective. Do comment how you find this video. Thank you so much.